It's your boy Obz here, day 69. Do it to life before life do it to you. Do it to 2021. A whole year of breast cancer awareness and personal growth. Boom. Day 69, it's a milestone. The day is Saturday. On Saturday, what I normally do on Saturdays is I go over, <clears throat> let me go ahead and get myself situated. I go over affirmations. Affirmation Saturdays. Let me go ahead and get this turned around. I had a real good talk with my daughter last night. Did I? Go ahead and get that posted up. Real talk with my daughter last night. And what we were normally talking about was uh, just bounce some things out because she's another part of myself, right? So that's what I normally do. We bounce stuff off each other and just see exactly what's going on. Let me check that out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, got, got the other half of my affirmations right here. Like I said, you can get that offline. I'm going to go ahead and read this out real quick because guess what? It don't take long. I can never fail for everything that happens contributes to me being better. I am extremely passionate about and constantly being better and more successful. I have the courage to create positive change in my life. I acknowledge my own self-worth. My self-confidence is rising. Others look up to me as a leader because of my confidence. Every day I will become more confident, powerful, and successful. Feeling confident, assured, and strong is a normal part of my everyday life. I am self-reliant, creative, and persistent in whatever I do. I am valuable and will make powerful contributions to the world today. I make decisions based on the superstar I am becoming. I continue to push myself to learn to develop in areas of life that bring me happiness, freedom, and purpose. I wake up every morning ready for a new day of exciting possibilities. I am happy and free because I am me. I am a strong individual who attracts success and happiness. My life is a blast of growing opportunity because I never stop creating. I am energetic and enthusiastic. Confidence is in my nature. I teach others to believe in me by believing in myself. My actions are intentional and they bring me closer to my goals. I am learning to trust the journey. My mind is clear of self-doubt and I'm ready to embrace every challenge that comes my way. I'm surrounded with people who push me to be my best self. I have great ideas and make great contributions. Every challenge I face is an opportunity to grow and improve. I am the architect of my life. I build this foundation and choose its contents. My ability to conquer my challenges is limitless. My potential to succeed is infinite. Today, I abandon my old habits and take up new, more positive ones. Hey, I like that last one. That last one pops off, right? Today, I abandon my old habits and take up new and more positive ones. Took about two minutes, but guess what? You read through all these affirmations, and it's it's no problem with reading through affirmations or quotes or whatever you want to call them. I think I, I think those are probably I don't know them quotes or affirmations, whatever they are, but the ones that resonate with you you can pull those out and start to build your own library of, of positive quotes and affirmations See, that's the key thing you can build your own personal library of those things just by pulling out the ones that you like you see what I'm saying so now throughout the day See, I got those affirmations with me, but guess what? You say, hey, I don't have my affirmations printed out and framed. The only reason I printed those out and framed them was because I wanted my kids to read them. I want them to be top of mind because you're not in the habit. I don't have a habit of, of, of saying affirmations every day. So you got to, uh, one of the things, guys, you got to re reduce the friction. got to make it easier to read them, to say them. And the best way to do that is to have them hanging up on the refrigerator or in the bathroom or somewhere. Because sure enough, you can pull them up on your phone, but nobody wants to use these phones to the fullest potential. And me and my daughter, we were talking last night and was talking about some problems, working through some things. And then I actually said, have you asked Big G? 
been God first, and if you haven't, then have you asked Google? Because a lot of times, that, like I said, that my rational mind don't want to go to Big G. Don't want to ask Big God about the, the thing for some reason, you know. Don't want to go there. How they don't, because it believes more in things that are more worldly, more tangible. Since they, so that's why I say X Lil G, which is Google, but still, a lot of people don't ask Google stuff like that. They ask Google, you know, trivial stuff that they know. Uh, hey, how to find McDonald's? You know, what's the closest McDonald's? You know, or they looking up a. Uh, uh, a star or artist or something. Hey, look, yeah, you heard about, uh, you know, um, Kiefer Sutherland. Oh, yeah, Kiefer Sutherland, who's that, man? Yeah, no, I ain't heard about it. Let me look that up. Let me check it out. Oh, yeah, let me check and see what Kiefer Sutherland got going on. Let me see what the Kardashians got going on. You know, we look up stuff like that, stuff that are, are interests, but as far as, like I told my, I'm to put this thing in front of me. I want to find myself. Ah. I was telling my daughter the deal was she, she was telling me that okay the situation with her god kids has been a virtue she hadn't heard anything about it I said so you didn't write anything down the plans that we came up with to kind of increase your faith and stuff like that she said no I mean I got all the answers I needed I said yeah that's, that's just the Noah's Ark type of mentality the leaking roof mentality when it's raining, you're running around panic and frantic that the roof is leaking. And then when the sun comes out, I say, oh, thank the Lord for the sun. But don't fix the roof. You don't think about the roof. Well, I ain't worried about the roof right now because it's sunny. I ain't going to worry about it. You know, because it's not immediate. You know, I said, well, you still need to be fixing on it because you know it's going to come up again. You know it's going to come up again, so why not go ahead and fix it? And that's with everything else. That's, um, I think it was Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And uh, Stephen Covey got the quadrants out. Man, I remember when the quadrants came out, man, that was the first thing I had. I was down to four things, the four boxes, the four quadrants on how to say no. And that was quadrant number two. You may want to check that book out. Let me go through the quadrants. You know, that, you know, you could go through the quadrants, right? Maybe that may resonate with you, but you got the four quadrants. And uh, the maintenance quadrant, uh, let me run it over real quick. The first quadrant was uh, urgent and important. The ringing phone, the emergency, the, the leaking faucet, the pipe is busted. That's urgent and important. Number two, it's important but not urgent. That's maintenance. That's exercise. That's lifting weights. Just studying. Quadrant three is, in, is urgent, but not important. That's other people. People asking you to do stuff. Pick them up. Hey, Rami here. It's urgent, but it really ain't important to what you're doing as far as your roles and goals. And then quadrant four, he says, a totally worthless quadrant. That is not important and not urgent. But yet, we spend so much time in quadrant four on escaping. You know, it's escaping. It's just mindless, uh, you know, talking about football with somebody else and the argument that really is not going anywhere or scrolling over Facebook that ain't really going nowhere just to keep just to pass away the time that's part of the folk not urgent not important so you could use those in conjunction right to what's going on now by isolating uh, putting everything see you may jump to the one thing may be a huge leap maybe you jump into the four quadrants first Take everything that you do for a day, track it, and, and put it into four quadrants. Because his, his idea, he was getting to the one thing. Back then, Cubby was the one thing kind of guy too. He made a book called First Things First, right? But he was the one guy, he put it in the four buckets, 
He said it's total worthless quadrant. And it's his time. Because your time is divided up. You get to see how your time is divided up over activity. But that's what we say we don't have is trying to manage time. So anyway, he goes in and he says, okay, this total work this quadrant. Hey, what I want to do, I got too many fires. I got too many important, urgent things. That's real high stress stuff. And the only reason I got all this high stress stuff is because I had to fix things like that leaking roof or that leaking faucet or me in that relationship or studied that course and now the tests up on me. See what I'm saying? So, what he do is you steal the time from quadrant four because the quadrant four is totally worthless. And it ain't going toward your mission, it ain't going towards your roles and goals. You just been killing that time. So when you're watching TV, you may say, hey, I can't cut TV out. This is my favorite show right here. Okay, then steal the commercials. Start by stealing the commercials. The time when a commercial come on, you say, okay, when this commercial come on, I'm gonna work on quadrant two. Quadrant two is the quadrant you wanna work on. That's maintenance. They're keeping everything up, keeping everything greasy, all. That's where your plans, your missions, and all that stuff going in, in, in quadrant two. What they say is, it's important, but it's not urgent. You know, exercise is important, but it ain't urgent. Even when the doctor tells you, if you don't exercise, you're gonna die, it's still don't, for a lot of people, still don't be urgent enough. You see what I'm saying? So, you steal that commercial, put it over into maintaining or fixing something. The more maintenance you have, if you get everything fixed, then you're gonna have less time spent in stopping fires. Because I put in a, a smoke detector, I put in a sprinkler system. You see what I'm saying? I spend more time, less time stopping fires, more time exercising, getting big, bigger, getting stronger, and planning, right? So that's how they kind of got that broken out. And then quadrant three, it's close to worthless. You know, but that's other people. You gotta learn how to say no. That's what yesterday was, was a no day. And man, I had a great time going for no. But we gotta learn how to say no to these other people. You know, and, and that's gonna be the key thing. You can't say yes to everybody, can't please everybody. So you gotta learn how to say no to these other people. And then once you start saying no to them, then that time that would have went doing their tasks, you can concentrate on doing quadrant two tasks, which is your plans, your goals, and your mission. So two and so three and four, you steal that time to put it into two. And then as two get bigger, three and four get smaller, then guess what? Urgent and important get smaller as well too. Because I don't let stuff get to urgent and important. Of course, you're going to have crisis. Of course, there's going to be accidents. But it's going to be just one or two. You won't be piled up on top of everything else because of neglect of quadrant two. It's like your body. I mean, you lay around and get fat. Then all these conditions, bad knees, uh, poor cholesterol, poor health, uh, windedness, you know, self-esteem, all that stuff going to pile up and now it's until it gets to be, you're constantly living in a state of crisis. But you dream of living in a state of paradise where everything is easy going, everything is rolling smoothly. So, once you get all that down, see, you're trying to get everything down to one quadrant. Because if you can only do one thing out of the four quadrants, it's logical that maintenance is the key. If I can keep the thing, get everything in ship shape and maintain it and build it and, and it's working on that quadrant there, which is which is a building quadrant, then I have less fires, or I'll be stronger to handle those crises. And that's what you do. So that's 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 it in a nutshell. I don't know how I got off on Stephen Covey, because the thing is uh affirmation day so pick some more affirmations out listen to them on youtube there's several affirmations just put them on if you can't read you're driving or something like that just go ahead and put them on and then just go from there it's your boy obz do it to life for life do it to you 
do it to 2021, a whole year of breast cancer awareness. Concentrating on, man, the, the inside game of, of, of breast cancer and, uh, you know, the mental state. The mental state, mental and emotional of the, uh, the patient and the family. And, and that's what I'm, my concentration is on. So as it's continue to go, I'm on day 69, as it continues to go, then I, I feel that I'm gonna have more and more clarity and that's what I'm reaching for. Then pretty soon I'll be laser focused on what I'm trying to accomplish. Peace out.